Today we're going to talk about two different types of angle relationships called complementary and supplementary. So what does it mean to be complementary? If you look at the definition, it's very simple. It says you need two angles and they must add up to be 90 degrees or together they would form the shape of a right angle. So below you can check out two examples. In the first example, it says these two angles equal 90 degrees. When you add them together, 40 plus 50 makes 90. And together, they make this perfect right angle. And you can tell that because there's a box in the vertex of those two angles. The second example, they're not smushed together which doesn't have to happen when you have complementary angles. You can have two separate angles together, but the determining factor is that their degrees add up to be 90. So you can see this number sentence 27 plus 63 is 90, so these two angles would still be classified as complementary. What does it mean to be supplementary? Again, there's a magic number that needs to be added together to get it, and this number is 180 degrees. If you look at the two examples at the bottom again, the first one shows two angles together perfectly making a straight line at the bottom. A straight line is another way of saying 180 degrees. If you add them together, 40 plus 140 should together make our 180 degree straight line or supplementary angles. The second example shows you how you can have two separate angles that aren't touching but still get classified as supplementary because when you add together their degrees 60 plus 120 you can see in the number sentence it equals 180 degrees. So here's a little trick that you might use to help yourself remember how many degrees the special number complementary needs and how many degrees the special number is for supplementary. So if you take the first letter in complementary, the letter C, if you add on to it you can create 90 out of the letter C. If you take the letter S, beginning letter in supplementary, you can add on to it and create 180 degrees. So think about the beginning letters. Does that shape make more of the number 9 from the C? Or the beginning letter does it make more of a number 8 for the number 180? What type of angle relationship is this? If you look at these two angles, you can tell two different ways. You can either add the two dimensions together, 110 degrees plus 70 degrees, or since these line up perfectly together, they make a straight line. So in this example, supplementary would be the type of angle relationship that's found with these two. We have a new pairing. What type of relationship is this? If you look at these two, you can either look at what special shape is being made because they are together. It's got that right angle box. It makes a corner, which also is the beginning letter of complementary. Or you can add the two measurements together, 25 plus 65, and you should find they equal 90, so those two would be complementary. A third example. These two are not touching. They're not together. I don't see a perfect straight line or I don't see a perfect corner. So to check this one, I'm going to do 25 plus 65. When you add these two together, you get 90. 
and the angle relationship that equals 90 is complementary. What type of relationship is this? Again, I have two separate angles. They're not touching. Now you need to be careful because some people may just look at the bottom and think, oh yeah, it makes a straight line all the way across the bottom. But to make sure, you need to take the degrees from the two angles and add them together and see what you get. 40 plus 50. Again, that's only 90. So the special relationship for these two angles would fit the category of complementary angles. Our fourth example, what type of relationship is this? Now these look like at the bottom, they may form a perfect straight line. So let's double check by adding the dimensions together. 130 plus 50. When you add these together, it looks like I get the magic number of 180, which is the amount we need for supplementary angles. The next couple of examples we're going to look at is find the value of the missing angle. So when you look at this one, it looks like what shape am I forming by these two angles being smushed together? Looks like I have that perfect corner. So if I am trying to make a perfect corner, that should be 90 degrees. Well, I am missing one. I don't know how much this angle is. So I need to take my perfect corner of 90 and I need to subtract the angle that is there, 25. I'm gonna borrow. And I got 65. So that means this missing angle should be 65 degrees because together they need to form that perfect corner or right angle equaling 90 degrees. Okay, our second example of find the value of the missing angle. If you look at this example, it looks like I am getting a straight line. If I'm trying to form a straight line, that starts with S, which we said makes our magic number of 180 degrees. If I already know one of them is 118, I need to find this missing angle part. So again, I'm going to start with the magic number for the straight line, which is 180 degrees. I'm going to subtract the angle that I currently know, which is 118, to find the missing amount. Again, I'm going to borrow. And it looks like I get a 62. So my missing angle is 62 degrees for this angle relationship. Find the value of the missing angle. Wow, this one looks really hard. It doesn't even look like I only have two angles. What am I going to do? Well, at the bottom, I can see that this looks like it makes a straight line. So if I have a straight line, what is the magic number I'm looking for? That should be 180 degrees but I only see one number printed of 58. Can anybody look in this diagram and see if you know exactly how many degrees one of the other angles might be? If you look on the far left, see this little square in that corner? If you remember, that made a 90 degree angle when you see that box. So this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have to add the two angles that I know. 90 plus 58. Together, those two angles are taking up 148 degrees. And the whole entire relationship needs to be straight or 180. So I'm going to subtract off the two I know to find the one missing part right here in the center. So I'm going to borrow again. And I got 32. So this missing angle should be 32 
degrees. You guys will have several, several different diagrams similar to the three we just worked on, plus classifying angles for complementary, supplementary, or neither for your homework. Hopefully this was helpful. If you need assistance on your homework, please let me know.